All right, so I'm going to walk you through how to set up MMLA format in Microsoft Word 2013. First thing you're going to do is change the font. The default font is Calibri, so we're going to change it to Times New Roman. And then you're going to change the font size to 12. Simple enough. Then you want to go up here to the tabs and change it to the Page Layout tab. And it's right here for spacing. You want to change the spacing down to zero because that is not the correct spacing. After you change the spacing, go back to Home. And this button right here in Paragraph, this is the uh, line spacing button. You go down here and change the line spacing to two. That will give us the double spaced. All right. Then go over to Insert. And then you want to click here for insert header. And then you want to enter a blank header. But not, not a three column, we'll make sure it's just a blank one. You want to change the alignment of the header to right. So you go back to the home tab and you change, click this button right here to change the, in, the, the um, alignment to right. Then you want to enter your, your last name. So your last, let's say for this person's last name is test. And then you click spacebar once. Go back to the head and footer uh, design tools, and right here, you want to insert the page number. So you go to current position, and then you say plain number. There you go. And, and then that's it. That's that for the header. So you go back to the page, and make sure you're left aligned, and you want to enter your name. Let's say this person's name is Johnny Test. Then you want to enter in the class. We are English 111. Then you want to enter in professor's name. So we'll say Professor Bill Harvey. And then you want to enter in the date. Today's date is the 13th of February. You want to enter in though the 13th February 2015. Do not put it in February 13th. Don't do that. That's not correct. You do 13 February 2015, 14 February 2015, whatever. And you press space bar. And now you want to change the alignment to center. So you press center align. And then you'd enter in the title. I'm just going to put a placeholder title. So that's the title. Then that's it for setting up the top. After this, you are ready to begin your paper. Make sure you change the alignment back to left. And press tab to indent every paragraph. So if you want to enter in the works cited page, just press enter a bunch of times to get to the second page. And then you, if you did your header correctly at the top, it will have your last name and then two here. The page number should change automatically every time you change page. Make sure your alignment's left. And then in order to change, so what you need to do for the works cited page is you put the title up top center with after you center the title, and then you have the page down here. To change the paragraph options, go over here to see this is on the home page. It's paragraph options right here. You click this little arrow right here to bring up the full paragraph options. And then what you do is right here under special, you do this drop down box and hit hanging. And that'll change it to the hanging indent. So what it should look like is this. That is, that's correct. So, but then when you press enter, it'll go back and type it again. So that's how it's supposed to look. That's the hanging indent. If you want to look up specific information on how to do the work cited, you can find that information on the MLA website for how to properly cite each and every different kind of article. But this is it. This is the basics. This is how the basic MLA page should look. And if it looks pretty much like this, then you're good. Thank you for watching.